is going on guys? Welcome back to another Wyatt's World Extra and for today's video I'm gonna be giving you 10 things that I find extremely overrated. Yes, this is gonna be another rant video so if you like these you're in luck. Also, headphone users beware, I tend to get very loud during these videos and I don't try to. Real quick, we just got one plug, head over to gfuel.com, use code Wyatt's World, save yourself a discount on any G Fuel products. And let's get into 10 things that I find extremely overrated. And quick disclaimer, if you disagree with me, I don't care. Let's get it going. All right, so first thing on the list of overrated today is beaches. Beaches, a matter of fact, I don't think they're overrated. I think they absolutely suck. Why would I ever wanna go to a beach so I can sit on the sand and just bake in the sun? All while there's a thousand little kids just running around kicking sand in your face? Anytime you try and eat, you're getting sand on your sandwich or in your chips or in your drink. It sucks, every aspect of the beach sucks. The water isn't even fun because if you go in the water, you're just standing in someone else's piss. A list of things I would rather do for fun than go to the beach honestly consists of mowing the lawn, raking the lawn, shoveling the driveway, planting flowers, planting plants, weeding the garden. I would literally rather do all that than go to a fucking beach. Overrated. Next thing we got that's overrated is the Mall of America. Anybody watching this video who lives in Minnesota is going to be nodding their head. And anybody watching this whose dream is it to go to Mall of America? Stop dreaming because it sucks. Dude, it is a shopping mall with like four different floors of the same stores on each floor. Plus on top of that, if you're like me and you don't like being around people, it's the worst place you can go because all it is is people. Usually though, you will get to see a group of kids get into a fight and escort it out by security. That seems to be a daily thing there. Seriously, if you wanna go to Mall of America and you've never been there, I am trying to help you out. It is nothing and I mean nothing to gloat about. Overrated. All right, next up we got Rocket League. A lot of you guys have asked me to play this game and a lot of you don't know that I legitimately despise this game more than any video game on this planet. I just don't understand how people have fun. It's fun for a game. It's just like Smash Bros to me. But after one, like how, how are you still enjoying yourself? You're driving a car around and hitting a ball into a goal. Like it's not fun. And yeah, I'm gonna get the immediate crowd reaction of you're just bad at the game. Okay, whatever, it's not fun. That's the point, not that I'm not good at the game. The game isn't fun. And would I have fun if I was good at it? No, because the concept sucks. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, nice save. Get the fuck out of here. People who wake up and they're like, I'm gonna hop on Rocket League are insane. That game is so overrated. After Rocket League, we got Taylor Swift. Do I understand why people listen to her? Sure. Do I understand the obsession that people have over her? Fuck no. Her voice is not that good. Like it's very mediocre when it comes to the music world. Like I don't hear her voice and go, oh, it sounds so great. Kinda sounds like a middle school talent show girl singing. Like I, I don't get it. I see men, I see women just rushing to Taylor Swift, you know, to get tickets, to play her on the jukebox at the bar, to play her wherever they can. Why? Not to mention her songs aren't really bops. Like you don't jam out and listen to Taylor Swift. They're all really, really depressing songs. Now, am I sitting here calling her a dog shit talentless singer Absolutely not. I just said she, she's good. I, I understand why people can maybe want to tune in every now and again, but I do not understand the obsession. Taylor Swift is very overrated. Next up, we got Dano's Chicken Seasoning. If you've ever been on TikTok, you have 100% seen this seasoning at some point. Someone reviewing it, someone freaking out over it. You've probably seen ads, you've had to have seen it, right? Well, let me tell you something about Dano's. It sucks. I fell for it. I fell for the trap, dude. I kept seeing it on my For You page and I'm like, okay, you know what? If I ever see this chicken seasoning, I'm gonna get it because it has to be great. Then one day I was grocery shopping and there it was, Dano's. So I bought it. I came home and I loaded my chicken up because the fucking bottle says spread generously. Did I even say that word right? Is it generous? I don't, whatever. I spread it all over the chicken and I ate it and it tasted like generic lemon pepper seasoning you would get at any other grocery store out there. Stick to the McCormick, you know, steak and chicken seasoning, the stuff in the bottles that your parents have in the cupboards. That stuff is fire. Don't get this stupid TikTok influencer seasoning because it tastes like shit. Overrated. Next up, we got the NBA Finals. Yeah, we need to talk about this one because for years I've been told by basketball fans that the NBA Finals is 
unique. Better in baseball, better in hockey. Hell, some would even say it's better than the Super Bowl. Are you kidding me? The NBA Finals is the worst of them all, and I'm being 100% serious. It sucks. It seems like one of two things. Either you can predict what it's going to be every year, or it's two teams like this year, and it's an absolute blowout, and it's not even close. The last time we had a competitive Finals was like 2016. I know this is going to piss a lot of basketball fans off, but man, I think the championship in playoff bracket of the NBA, bottom of the barrel, like below the piss even. Next thing we got is Olive Garden. I know there's a large portion of people watching this who are going, what does he mean? Olive Garden's great. Are you done? Olive Garden, man, the more I've gone there throughout my life, the more I have left with the impression that it is just nothing special at all. Dude, you can go to any grocery store and buy a frozen lasagna or spaghetti and it's gonna taste exactly the same as Olive Garden. The only reason I even like to go there anymore is because one, my girlfriend loves it, but for two, they give you those nice little mints at the end. Those are great. Those taste better than the whole meal. But Olive Garden alone for Italian food? <laughs> extremely, extremely average. Overrated. Next thing we got is Prime Energy. Oh, I've been wanting to talk about this one because I have never seen someone have such a chokehold on the younger generation like Logan Paul in KSI. I have yet to find one person over the age of 14 years old who says Prime is good, dude. It is terrible. It tastes like it's just straight sugar in syrup. Like it's <sighs> body armor is elite. Go drink a body armor if you want to know what Prime probably should taste like considering, you know, they're trying to directly rip it off. However, they couldn't so they had to tweak the formula and it is brutal. I'll see videos of people in like Taiwan and stuff, you know, ripping it off the shelves. Here, go try and buy it. You can get it wherever the hell you want. It's overstocked on my shelves because nobody wants it. Tells you what publicity can do for yourself because Prime Energy, not only is it overrated, it's ass. Next up, we got PC gaming. Everybody's probably got a friend in their group who plays on PC and everyone else is on console, right? And I'm gonna guess that one friend who plays on PC just brags about how perfect and great it is and how much better it is than the consoles you're playing on. I guessed that pretty close, didn't I? Hey, that one friend is an absolute fuck. PC gaming is probably the most overrated, over-exaggerated, most stretched out piece of must need technology I've ever seen. You do not need a PC for anything. Unless it's a PC specific game, then yes. But if the game is also on Xbox or PlayStation, you're fine. Matter of fact, if you have an Xbox in a PlayStation, you don't gotta worry about updating shaders or graphics cards or checking on your RAM, any of that shit. I actually like console gaming more than PC gaming just because there's so much that can go wrong with these rigs. Seriously, if it wasn't for my job, I would not own a gaming PC because I, I don't use it outside of Fortnite, which I can just play on my PlayStation. And the last thing we got that I think is super overrated is being an adult. If you're a kid, enjoy that, man. Being an adult absolutely sucks. Yeah, okay, like it might seem cool, right? I have a house, I have a car, I have a, a pretty cool job, I can say humbly. I would give all that back in two seconds to be 10 years old again. Not even kidding for a second. To be able to wake up with zero responsibilities and just go about my day only worrying about things to entertain myself, I would give anything to go back to that. Anything. As an adult, the second you start gaming or doing something that's your free time, you just feel like a lazy piece of shit for it and you just guilt trip yourself for it. Honestly, as an adult, it's really hard to just enjoy yourself if you're asking me. So if you are growing up and you can't wait, put a break on it because you're gonna wish you did. Anyway, guys, that is gonna be it for 10 things that I find extremely overrated in today's world. If you guys like this video, you already know what to do. Go ahead and comment, like, subscribe, turn that bell on. I do my best to post on this channel every single day. However, with everything I said, I'm gonna hop off and get this edited so you can watch it on time. Enjoy the rest of your Monday, and as always, I will see you in the next video.